I hope you're ready guys, we finally got a chunky list to go through today. This video is going to be all about Rose. The people at Capcom heard your cries for help and showered her with all kinds of buffs. Many players, especially in Japan, thought she was very weak last patch. So let's see what they did to fix this uh, underlying issue. Rose's standing heavy punch is now minus 4 on block instead of minus 6. This is pretty notable because not only is it obviously much better as a poke in general, but it will be a true block string into the light soul spark from further away. On top of that, some characters that were able to punish it very easily from range, like for example Armika, Chan Li, Ken, will be able to shut Rose down as hard as before. Standing light kick now has extended range. It used to be quite short, but now it's almost as long as most of our other lights. The normal on its own is not really what is important, however, it's the target combo that it's associated with, standing light kick for heavy kick. Since now the starter has extra range, it will be easier to combo into it in lots of different situations. Standing medium kick can now be special cancelled. This normal is one of Rose's throw bait attacks. Before you needed a counter hit to convert from it, which you weren't going to get if you avoided a throw, so it had very low reward compared to other moves of its kind. Now, because of the buff, you can get some more meaningful damage out of it. Crouching Heavy Punch was buffed to be minus 3 on hit from minus 5. On paper, it doesn't look like much, aside from the fact that it is less punishable. What this means is that you can now combo into the Heavy Fireball without needing a counter hit. Since it also forces stand on hit, Rose is able to get some really high damage from this normal. Rose's Weep was sped up by 1 frame. On top of that, they also extended the hitbox on it. This was already a far-reaching crutchy heavy kick, but now it's really quite fast for its range. Soul Presa, which translates to grab or grip, is naturally her hop kick. Anyway, it's now less minus some block, being minus 4 instead of minus 6. This was absolutely criminal before, and it made this move almost unusable unless at absolute max range. Now it's much more reasonable and in line with other pokes of its kind. Keep in mind it can also hop over lows, so that's a nice feature of this move. Sol Piede, which in this case means foot, is more appropriately her for heavy kick. This one can now be cancelled into V skill, as well as having increased juggle potential. The most practical application for this change is the ability to be used after EX Soul Bind to set up V skill and still be plus. Sol Pilastro, Pillar, is her back heavy kick. Since it is a knockdown crush counter with no cancel capability, it was hard to follow up with anything. Now it pops the opponent up for a longer time, letting you combo into her sweep or super mid screen, and even more in the corner if you're at the right range. Rosa's Fireball, Soul Spark, now has increased pushback on block. This is very convenient as it makes it harder to punish as well as letting Rose build more distance from you setting yourself up at the correct range in which to use normals like sending heavy punch and push you back even further. The EX version of her fireball is now 12 frames of startup, which is quite fast. Because of the extra speed she's able to combo into it from lights. EX fireball is great Oki and corner carry, as well as the ability to combo out of it when already close to the corner. She previously didn't have good way of spending meter from her lights without sacrificing Oki, so this is a good change. The airborne version of EX Soul Spark was also buffed. Rose now falls to the ground faster, which means the fireball's more plus on hit and less punishable on block. You can now use an instant air EX fireball as throw bait, and you can combo out of it reliably. It works even if it catches an opponent crouching, leading to an even better combo. All of the versions of Rose's Soul Spirals have been changed to have much better Oki. They knock back further and longer now, giving her time to approach and get plus frames. The Heavy Soul Spiral is also faster, specifically when cancelled from Crouching Medium Punch to let the two combo together. EX Soul Bind is now cancelable into other special moves during its recovery after it connects. This lets you combo into Soul Spiral much more easily. But more importantly, it allows you to set up Soul Punish mid-screen and still be at plus frames. The opponent is very close to you, so this is an ideal position to push a mix-up. Visco 1 got a few buffs. First, the purple and green cards now have better juggle potential and knockback time. This is most convenient for the X-Soul Bind combo, since now it is possible to juggle into them and retain Oki. The white card now recovers health, on top of giving you V-Gage. Most of the health you recover is white health, but a small amount is also true health. The red card already had a timed effect, 
So now you won't lose it when you get hit, making this turret more usable. The final change is to her V-Trigger 2. As you may know, one of the best strategies to deal with this V-Trigger was to just get thrown and not quick rise, since the V-Timer on it is so short. Well, no more. First of all, the V-Timer doesn't go down when Rose is throwing you, so just getting thrown won't achieve much anymore. If you decide to stay on the ground, Rose will be able to OTG with the shadows as attack, and follow up with a full combo. So now you'll have to deal with V-Trigger fair and square. Wow, so uh, that was a handful, to say the least. Rose got nothing but buffs, and according to many, she desperately needed them. She's most definitely going to be a much more solid character now, as she got improved across the board, more Oki, damage, combo opportunities, setups, so I hope this is enough to propel her into viability. It definitely looks like the case, some of the changes are absolutely bonkers on a surface level. We'll see what the future holds for Rose. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the changes. More Patch Notes videos are in the works and are coming out in the near future, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more content.